Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about factorising. Now there are a couple of videos in this series. Uh, this particular one deals with relatively straightforward questions at round about uh, level C or D. Now factorising is really the opposite of expanding brackets. So it's a little bit tricky, but basically what we're looking to do is take what they call the largest factor out of an expression. Okay, so if you have a look at mathsrap.co.uk, that will give you quite a lot of detail. Um, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel here, um, and um, that will keep you informed when, when I post new videos. Or if you add a comment below, I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. Um, okay, so factorising an expression would look something like this. So it would be a fairly typical question, would be factorise fully x squared plus 3x. So that's a relatively straightforward expression. What they want us to do is to take the largest factor possible out of this term and this term. And the way to do it really is to look at two different factors or two different areas. So the first thing that you would look at is going to be numbers. So let's make a note here of numbers. Okay. And then the second thing that you want to look at is going to be letters. Okay. So if we look at this expression here and we look at that first term, and then the second term, what we're saying is, is are there any numbers which are common to both terms? Well, there isn't, because here there would be a 1, because it's 1x squared. And here there's 3x, but 3 and 1 have no number in common. In other words, they don't have a factor in common. So... Unfortunately, with this particular expression, we've got to ignore the numbers. There's nothing we can do about it. So the second thing we'll look at then is letters. And again, if we look at this expression, we have x squared and x. Well, x is common to both terms. So with this particular expression, we can take x, which is the largest possible factor, and put it outside of a set of brackets which we're going to create. So the first thing we do is we look at x squared and we say what have I got to do to x in order to make x squared? Well x squared is x times x so I'm going to put an x in the bracket there. So I just want to clarify that a little bit so if we look at this x squared what x squared means is x times x. So what we're going to do here is take x out and then when we check it in the future we're going to multiply it by x again and that will give us this expression x squared. The next thing we look at is this term which is positive 3x. So it's the same question. What do we do to x in order to create positive 3x. Well, we need to multiply x by positive 3. And that would factorise, this expression here is the factorisation of this expression here. So what I'll do now is just check it. So if I multiply x times x, I'm going to get x squared. If I multiply x times positive 3, I'm going to get positive 3x. So that must be correct. And this expression here, x brackets x plus 3, is the factorisation of this. So this would be the answer to the question. OK, um, so let's make it just a little bit more sophisticated now. So I'm just going to copy from my question here, and I've got a C grade question, which is 12x squared plus um, 18xy. Okay, and what they want us to do is to factorise this expression. Well, like I did before, the first thing I'm going to look at is numbers. 
and then I'm going to look at letters. Okay, so let's have a look at the numbers first. Well, if we look at this number here, I have 12, and this number here, I have 18. So what we're looking for is the highest number which it is possible to divide into 12 and divide into 18. And that number would be 6. Okay, because 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 times 3 is 18, is 18. So 6 is the highest common factor of 12 and 18. If you have a look at uh, mathsrap.co.uk that will also give you some videos on working out highest common factors of numbers and that should give you um, a little idea as to why we came to this number 6 as the highest common factor for 12 and 18. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is look at the, the letters. So what I'm going to look at is this term which is x squared and this term which is xy. Well, Again, if we look at the top here, x squared means x times x. So x is common to both of these terms. So I'm going to take x out of the equation. Now the only thing I've also got to look at is I have a y here. I don't know why I've got a y, but I've got a y. <laughs> okay, so I have a y here. <laughs> okay, is that y common to this term and also this? Well. It's not. So I can't really do anything with that y term in terms of taking it out. So while I'm, when I'm looking at these two terms, the highest common factor of these two terms is 6x. OK, so like we did before, what have we got to do to 6x to, or what have we got to multiply 6x by to get 12x squared? Well, that would be 6 times 2 is 12 and x times x is x squared. What are we going to do to 6x to get positive 18xy? Well, it's going to be positive. 6 times 3 is 18. Uh, we already have an x, so that's okay. We don't need that, but we do need a y. So we have to have a y in this equation. Okay, so this is the factorization of 12x squared plus 18xy, it would be typically um, around about two points for a grade C question, something like that. If you uh, have a look at mathsrap.co.uk, that will give you um, a downloadable worksheet as well, so you can have a go at some of these questions for yourself. Um, I hope the video has been useful to you. Please do post or pin or tweet or embed. Um, Add a comment below or subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.